What actually uses VRAM? The frame buffer that is used for monitor display occupies a tiny amount of the graphic card's memory, with a 4K HDR image occupying around 50 megabytes of VRAM. This low consumption is why graphics cards whose only purpose is to drive displays don't need large amounts of VRAM. Workloads such as word processing or simple browsing. However, when a graphics card needs to render frames for visually demanding tasks, it requires several data buffers that would cover the scene's texture, lighting, shadows, geometry, among others, which will quickly fill up the GPU's available VRAM. Add to this features like ray tracing, anti-aliasing, complex texture maps, and you will need a considerable amount of VRAM. Working with higher resolutions will also scale up the VRAM requirements. To summarize, anything that the GPU needs for processing goes into the VRAM. Depending on your workloads this can be data buffers, frame buffers, textures, videos, image sequences, polygons, meshes, geometry, lights, light caches, ray trees, depth maps, UV maps, databases. Does more VRAM improve my performance? So, does increasing VRAM enable a graphics card to render scenes faster? The short answer is yes, but only if you had too little to begin with. Your graphics card utilizes VRAM the same way your processor uses the system memory. When your PC runs out of system memory, the additional data is written to a page file that resides on your SSD or hard disk, which is much slower than the system memory, causing your system to become sluggish and prone to frequent crashes. The same is true with VRAM, with the difference being that the data is offloaded into the system memory. Due to the system RAM's distance from the graphics processor, and the many connections and smaller buses it has to traverse to do so, it is much slower for the GPU to access, and this often leads to instability and slowdowns. In such scenarios increasing the VRAM can show a significant performance improvement since the data now can reside entirely in the graphics card's memory making it easier for the graphics processor to access. Of course, increasing VRAM capacity is only possible by buying a new GPU, or by linking through NVLink, more on this later. Although VRAM capacity is important, though, choosing a graphics card based only on VRAM capacity can bottleneck your performance in other ways as many lower-tier graphics cards like NVIDIA's 12GB RTX 3060 marketing stunt makes the RTX 3060 look more attractive and powerful than even higher-tier GPUs with less VRAM. Which it. Your best bet is to identify the VRAM and performance requirements for your workloads and choose a graphics card that fits your budget. We will continue about GPU VRAM videos please wait for it. We will discuss all area about VRAM. Thanks for watching.